Hey y'all, it's Grit Girl, otherwise known as Margaret, and on this gorgeous day in Northeast Georgia, I am actually going to show you how to make an egg white omelet that I find quite tasty. Um, I'm making a life change by going in onto a low carb diet for a little bit, not for everybody, not for long term, but as a way to kickstart my body for working out so I can lose some of the extra pounds that I've packed on over the last few years. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to make this really, really good dish. So first and foremost, you're going to want egg whites. I prefer to actually get these, the liquid egg whites, because they're easier for me to use. However, if you are using regular egg whites and you're separating your eggs, uh, it always seems wasteful to throw away the yolks, but if you have animals, you can mix it into their food. They love them. Okay, so that's the primary ingredient. We're also going to do garlic, reduced fat feta cheese, broccoli, pepper and onions, and some chopped onions. Okay, so my pan is warming up. Uh, I've sprayed it with some uh, canola oil just to make sure nothing sticks very much. My first thing I'm going to do is add my garlic and I like a lot of garlic so I've added an entire tablespoon and then once that has started browning up a little bit I'm going to start adding in some of my other vegetables. So I've got my two cup measuring cup loaded up with one cup of the pepper and onion mixture and one cup of frozen broccoli. Now I'll be honest with you I actually really prefer to use uh, spinach but I don't have any so I can't use any. And I really, really like onions, so I'm going to add a little extra. I prefer to use frozen vegetables simply for the fact that I feel like I can get more out of it. It's a time saver, and they're usually relatively inexpensive. So while my vegetables are sautéing and uh, cooking up, I put a lid over it so that they'll um, thaw out, really, and, and blend together a little bit quicker. I've uh, weighed out my feta cheese. Now, I'm using a half an ounce of feta cheese, which is a half serving. And uh, if you get nothing else for your kitchen, I highly, highly recommend getting a kitchen scale. They are invaluable. Okay, so my vegetables have finished thawing out and sauteing together and just creating a really delicious look to them. So now, I'm going to take my feta and dump it in. I love feta cheese. I think it's a wonderful product. It's just so sweet and salty and just delicious. And now I'm going to pour in one cup of egg whites, which equals uh, six egg whites if you were to separate them out yourselves. And I'm going to stir it together, put the lid on it, and let it sit. Okay, so it looks like our eggs are starting to cook all the way through, which is actually why I put the lid on there. When you can see air bubbles bubbling up through the middle of the mixture, that means that it's ready for the next step. This is why it's very important if at some point you get a uh, set of broiler proof pans because what I'm going to do is stick that in the oven on broil so that the top can brown out and it'll finish cooking. Now while my um, omelet's broiling in the oven right now, I have made myself two pieces of turkey bacon to eat along with it. I just happen to like a meat source with it. However, if you're a vegetarian, you can always uh, add some tofu into the actual omelet or you can get a uh, soy product on the side such as uh, some soy sausage or something along those lines. Okay, so I've had my omelet in there for exactly three minutes and doesn't that look amazing? It smells phenomenal too. So what I'm going to do is since the pan's really hot and the food's really hot, I'm going to give it uh, five minutes to rest and then I'll come in and show you how I like to top it. Alright, here's the finished product. Um, I'm not very good at folding omelets, so I cut them in half and then fold them. And topped with a tablespoon of salsa. Uh, you can also use sour cream, but I'm trying to restrict my intake. So this meal, if you want the breakdown, is two proteins, uh, one serving of vegetables, and a half serving of dairy. Um, Okay, now I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, the good news is that I will keep trying to bring you recipes like this, including how to make vegetable-packed turkey meatballs to go on spaghetti and meatballs and using uh, spaghetti squash versus spaghetti noodles. The bad news is this is my last video from this kitchen. Um, my husband and I are selling our house and moving, so the next time I have a video, it'll be from our new location. And um, please enjoy this. I hope you make it for years to come and share it with somebody that you love.